Mitra, so you are done with your group one. Yes. And I believe uh, you are closest to get those two letters. Yeah. Mm. What's your feeling right now after your audit exam today? I'm satisfied. I put all my efforts, my literature, my blood, sweat, and tears for this day. <laughs> Good. I'm happy. Very happy. What's the difference between your previous attempts and this attempt? Like, do you think this is your best attempt in terms of efforts or in terms of what you have written in the exam? Yes, uh, this is the best. The amount of efforts I put, hmm. the dedication, the hmm. intensity. Hmm. I was solely focused on getting that two letters in front yeah. of my name. So hmm. before that, other aspects came to play, like hmm. your parents, your hmm. friends, your hmm. surroundings, hmm. YouTube, hmm. Your, all that factors were not hmm. here. Like hmm. Away from everything, and you're more goal oriented right now. Right. So this was this is my best. Will get your life. <laughs> <laughs> so, what changed in this attempt? How 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 did you convert this attempt into your best attempt? What was helpful? Lack of my mom and dad and friends. Mm. Mm. People who are very close to me. It put one I don't know some seriousness yes. into me. Right. Yeah. right, right. And the efforts they put. I started valuing it much more. Much more. When, right. when I'm away from them, I know. <laughs> when they're there, when she gives me coffee, food, no. Right. You take it for granted. Right? right. Right now, when you're doing it yourself, you know the value of your mom's coffee. Absolutely. Party, you know, <laughs> coffee. Or, okay. So, basically, when you had to take the move from uh, Chennai to Hyderabad, you're saying your intensity increased once you, once you come in here. Yes. Fair enough. Uh, for many people, they look at it like, in my home I have a study room, I have space, I still, I'm still serious. For those, uh, it's not easy for them to take this decision, to move out and do something. But for them, how should they understand this? Because you know, you somehow figure it out and you, you experience it already. But for someone who has not experienced it, how can they understand the difference? Because they think everything is going well, but they'll only get to know in the exam. So. What's your piece of advice for those students who are reasonably stuck in their comfort zone and not able to make the move? You are in that same group studying, but it is not reflecting on your mark sheet or your the performance, right? That itself is an indicator. That means you have to make some change. Either you have to move out of that place or your preparation, something should change. I feel change of place will Definitely. It's a huge difference in everything. When you're stuck up with you're mm. stuck up in a career, you're mm. stuck up in a slump, mm. you try to move out of it, right? Mm. So you're stuck up in that room, come out of it. You have world filled with a lot of opportunities and a lot of relationships, experiences. That's what I've gained here until now. No, when you say change the place, it can be any place. Now why him life school? Why HLS? Why somebody should come here? Here everything is already predefined, set, there are frameworks, everything is working according to that. You are going somewhere, you have to figure out everything, you have to get accustomed to that new environment. Hmm. Here it is, one day you come, next day you start working here. So yes. it doesn't give you that space to even <laughs> relax. So that intensity factor, you won't get it anywhere else. So when you are with her, you know. <laughs> They don't yet. Then come here. Now, uh, the other day you defined uh, what it feels like to be a super student. Mm -hmm. So, after the exams, you know, are you proud to be a super student? Yes, yes. Uh, Bamsi was telling me I have become super student pro. <laughs> yeah. So, I should give you one more uh, hoodie or uh, that black t-shirt. Yeah, I'm going towards it. Not yet pro, but yeah. And, and uh, uh, the screen, uh, you know, represents a lot of branding elements. One, the super student by him, life school on your T-shirt, and you have something on cup, some, you have something on the cup called one last attempt. So, if you become a super student, is it implied that you can clear in one last attempt? Yes, sure, sure. 
you just have to follow the process trust in this just coming here without does it make it you know yes. it won't happen or wearing the t-shirt wouldn't automatically <laughs> <laughs> yeah you have to do work you have to follow so trust him and say he'll make it work so three because students struggle a lot so three differences between a struggling student and a super student three differences like are probably based on your own journey or in general also uh, what would a student do as a struggling student and what happens here three differences overthinking overthinking okay yeah clarity so from overthinking to clarity yeah, yeah that's one uh, the next one is the confusion like the material sources hmm. too much hmm. everything when there's a lot you can't focus here. right here one source and there is focus that task and there it is more uh, distractions your intensity right so confusion to focus less distractions which will make your preparation streamlined mm. perfect now this is uh, what mitra has experienced from hls now i'll share few insights on how hls has experienced mitra so this is this video is dedicated to her basically uh, as one of our students said uh, if i have to define super student I would definitely show her. I'll, I'll tell you uh, her layers of work. Let's say if you look at this audit textbook. Now this is how the ICA material is completely processed. If you pick up any particular page, it's processed. It's processed. Now uh, most of the students, when you open their textbooks, they are like fresh. They are never opened. Now this is fully processed. This is how it is done. And from here. index a detailed index now uh, we make students do two types of indexes first index is compulsory for all students where uh, they map the index directly from the institute material now this is an uh, exclusive assignment especially given for mitra the reason being we are satisfied with the first level quality now you see every particular line item in the index is completely done now i'm not just talking about the background work the additional layer the first layer work is the work which is the typing and all of the processing and that's the first layer work now this is the second layer work where each and every uh, single page is processed this is a lot of work this is this is very deep complex and you have to put in a lot of mental and cognitive effort now uh, you should be able to see see the work now it's not because of what we are done it's because of what she has done when we asked us to do things so that way you know mm, this explains and this quality of work ethic this quality of work ethic uh, is suitable for any type of organization whether it's consulting or investment banking uh, getting into big fours uh, any person as an entrepreneur i would love to uh, have her in my organization so this is what i'm recommending to everyone who is watching it she's a good resource to work with so one uh, the base guidelines which have been given especially use institute material this is reflected this is one and in terms of uh, her improvement now we normally make students write exams very frequently so these are the exams uh, when i look at one paper another paper let's say there's one paper on 163 the other paper is on 124 then we have something uh, some questions which are written on 193 so whenever something is written she always does it with a set of intent i'm not talking about good handwriting here but you understand right when you do something you know the intent how how much effort you put in how much uh, uh, sincerity you put in into the work so any pick up any given page from her work you will always see uh, good quality the quality is reflected now i'm not even talking about her marks i'm not talking about her ability to clear i'm not talking about uh, she becoming a chartered accountant in the next couple of months i'm not just talking about it but i'm telling you in general any work given to her uh, she does it with certain amount of quality this is about her personally and additionally you know we not we normally uh, believe in study buddies like every student uh, has to support some other student but whenever we attach mitra to any student we always see a clear cut improvement in the other student she of course she picks up what she has to pick up she is good at that but she has this uncanny ability of making others improve from point a to point b she always does that so these are the reasons why uh, we were always 
sure that somebody like Mitra, that some someone who has attributes the way she has, uh, would be a great asset to ICI. I would be a great asset to any organization. So uh, this video is all about telling you that you stick to the basics. You do whatever is required, and the result will automatically be reflected. Now uh, uh, we hardly take ten students per attempt. And when I, when we make videos, these are for the remaining one and a half lakh people who still go and write final. We are not in a mood to uh, teach everyone because we cannot practically, and that is not required also. So, if someone is watching it, understand why she is clearing. It's not because of HLS and it's not because of wearing the T-shirt. It is because of the kind of work she is putting in. Now we can do it in probably she's in Arjuna mode where somebody is in like a Dronacharya position and guiding her. That is one one experience which is good to have. But you could always have the Ekalavi experience where wherever you are, we can learn from what is happening and we share each and everything, including the real time conversation. So you can always have those uh, uh, resources. Now, apart from that, uh, one file which we create, like this is one file, uh, we call it the 100 mark file. Mitra, so can we now say that 100 marks came from? Yeah, sure. So, <laughs> so should we name it? <laughs> yeah. So this is the 100 mark file. So this has got only 100 sheets. We consciously have this 100 sheets, and all of them are not yet filled, I guess. <laughs> so still, if you go through that, you can correlate this with the question papers. You will be having all the questions. We have this question papers uh, right here with us. So this question papers, and we kind of mapped everything. So this one file, hardly 60 to 70 pages, has everything. It is a combination of index mapping. It also has, uh, I would say, handwritten charts. It has everything. It has a lot of things stitched together. So even if you don't do anything, if you just uh, you know uh, finish this particular file, you can have your 100 marks in each group. So this is exactly what we have done. And in the question paper, there's a clear-cut correlation between the work. So when she did her index mapping, when she did her detailed index, so every question she's able to correlate. Where did I study this? And that is the reason why I think you were able to attempt the papers reasonably comfortably. Yeah. So Mitra, were you comfortable writing questions? Like, were you some when the question papers were coming and? Yeah, uh, usually, you know, I'm not even they ask no, which paper is hard, which paper mm. is easy. People ask me, I am not able to tell which yes, is yes, hard, yes, which is yes. easy. That's the that's a very good indicator because it would not matter because yeah. you study so much. Either way, it's not like. Uh, uh, your preparation is mapped to hit a particular number. So we are looking at a denominator of 50 or a numerator of uh, the range between higher and lower 50 to 60 is where we are comfortable with. We are not targeting 70s or something like that. If it comes, great, yeah. but again, it's fine. Now for this, you are putting work in a way that it caters to the segment. So whether the question paper is hard, there is no hard question paper because the hardness is distinct to 30 marks. Mm -hmm. 30 marks is always easy. 40 marks will be easy if you prepare. If you don't prepare, then there 70 months is difficult. Yeah. 30 months is always difficult. They saw that very clearly in each and every paper, including today's audit paper, where there are some questions which could not have picked up unless somebody would have done the index yeah. month. So, so th these are the papers which uh, uh, you cannot do anything by just going through that. So the overall effort which you put in, it will automatically lead. Even question paper is something very different. It will not change. Some people are of the opinion that had it been number 23 paper, I would have cleared, made 23 paper, they are lucky, these are lucky, that is not how it works. Yeah. So you are ready for any paper. Mm. That's exactly the object of uh, uh, the whole thing. Now, in general, Mitra, I have uh, mentioned a uh, few things which has worked. So when somebody is starting their uh, preparation, uh, in general for group one, you can go through this and help them understand uh, what are the three things from which they have to study, what are the sources of study which work for you. For subject, each subject. Each subject. Uh, okay. So I'll start with the audit first. So study material, don't skip it. Go through it once, either through index mapping mm -hmm. or the questions. You should touch upon the study material. Mm -hmm. It is always based on those points they are asking. Mm -hmm. And doing index mapping helps you way better. Right. You, you grasp the entire subject. subject. Mm -hmm. You, it takes hardly work. If you do a detail, it takes a whole day, but three hours, four hours, and I feel that's worth the whole thing. Yeah. And you know where to focus when you're doing the index mapping. That reduces your one week workload. You know where to focus. And that builds the intensity also. Okay, I have this much to do. So that's the start point to reach for every subject in group one, irrespective of groups. Start doing index mapping, it helps. 
and do that index mapping at the end of the day, uh, the last day, before day of the exam. exam yeah. yeah. So that you can correlate what you have studied and what is there. And it's easy to pick up points from that. Yes. Right thinking. That is one index mapping. Then try making notes if possible. Mm. When and there are subjects like audit, it is very vast. It is very hard when, when you are taking it up on the last day. You you won't go through uh, the entire material. Mm. So try making notes, concise it, or write short notes beside the study material when right. you are studying. Mark all those. So always make that. And do MCQs. Uh, MCQ preparation changes the whole game. You can gain that easy 20 marks. So it's always that 20 marks you can gain. It, it's easy to do it. And why lose that opportunity? That's how it is, and now MCQs have been part of all the papers, so <laughs> don't leave it out. Touch upon it, do at least few, like MTPs also there are MCQs, so try solving it, don't skip anything. Be strong with your basics in all the subjects I'm saying. That, that's what ICA wants you. They don't want, they are not testing very hard, it's the basics. basics. Yeah, mm -hmm. where they're twisting also is basic. Right. Yeah, if you are strong in that, you don't need any other help or question marks. Right. Now, these are the sources. In terms of the techniques, we followed a lot of techniques, right, from mm -hmm. mindset routine, syllabus completion. Now, what are the top three techniques which worked, or the processes which worked to improve your preparation? Okay, I'll, I'll waking up early, mm -hmm. 4.50, that's the yes, best time to wake up. Mm -hmm. 10 minutes. Uh, you do your bio mm -hmm. all those. Mm -hmm. One hour revision for what you did before mm -hmm. day, or if you have not, start earlier. Then you start the three hour slots. Thing. Six to nine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But in between that, that 50 minutes, 5 minutes, 5 yeah. minutes, it, it works. Sticking to focus blocks. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Magic. And you doing midday revision, uh, yeah. previous day revision, day and revision. Day and revision. Writing it is better, but typing it is also good. But always try, think it as a source which you are creating for your last, last year re revision. Right. Don't make it as a mechanical thing, process. Yeah. Do it. it. Everything helps. Everything comes. That's the level of effort you have to put. Okay. In. Yeah. So every day comes. So do it. Do be sincere. It will reflect on your marks. So Mitra, now. Uh, they, are, they must be watching this uh, sometime between May 10 to May 17 uh, in, in the month of May. So which means we have June, July, August, September, October. So if you are ready to take a student for two groups for this five months, irrespective of the man, multiple number of failures or repeat attempts, or even if someone has to start from scratch, or even someone took a break from CA and trying to come back, if someone spends five months in HLS, do you think they can clear? More than enough. For any category? Yes. And who should be a best fit? Like, there are different kinds of people who are watching it. Now, who should be coming here? It's not about a person who is, you know, failing multiple times alone coming. They should also come. This. But if you are writing it for a first time also, it's the process which makes everything better. So right. here, the focus is on the process, not on your results or anything. There never stresses upon the results at all. It's the process. So you'll enjoy the process. You'll enjoy the course more if you come here. So anyone who wants to know the course better come here. That's <laughs> the general thing. And Mitra, now I don't have a question because all of this are uh, Q&A more. So just share your uh, general experience across the last you know, it's been three months. Yeah. So I got everything, like, everything experience here in this without a question or a context. Okay. Even so, I'm interested in them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, uh, Namrata, sir's wife, <laughs> uh, I have to mention her. She only made me feel at home initially. I was a little very, you know, it was more of a mentor, mentee or a sir student thing. She broke the ice. And Aira also, they, they were the ones who, you know, made me gel with the crowd. 
then sir sir if you are with sir you always have that intensity factor it never reduces there is always there to tell you okay you are here for this he's always that factor and you have a ecosystem you have a lot of people your peers your mentors subject experts everyone if i have to name i'll i can name all of them right now and yeah shrinath sir i can't <laughs> miss him out he's the person who worked a lot yeah he was the one who brought me here <laughs> so i have to mention him and thank him for this and yeah and all my friends my roommates right the manju deekshita then prachi anshu then bhavna ca bhavna is helping us through and my subject expert suresh sir uh, Nishiket sir, Maitreya sir, they were there for every subject, every small small doubts they used to clear after their work. I don't know it would be so stressful, but they used to take that time out and yeah. And lastly, sir, so <laughs> sir was a major the captain of the ship. He held everything together. He is still doing it. He still has to for the second group. So the captain of the uh, ship is the one who doesn't have anything basically. So, uh, <laughs> so you have to manage the entire ship, right? No, I'm actually uh, proud of the way the whole ecosystem works. You know, everyone comes, they do their part, and then they stick to their roles, and it just happens. So yeah. that is how we are building it. Now, uh, Mitra will also be coming to this side. That's what I'm trying to say. Now that. Uh, So that's what happens because when Suresh came and he saw someone else, mm-hmm. when uh, Nishwas here he saw someone else. So you always see someone else who is doing something. Now Maitreya technically crossed the other two because he was the one who was doing something. So that's what happens. 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 So that's what for someone to look up to that is exactly how they could stand up and personally uh, i'm proud to have you there i'm mm-hmm. really happy and uh, proud that you are a part of the course because I always believe uh, see the super student came because of the start my students are super like someone asked me how we are doing all that like my students are super but then i the brand is long students are super <laughs> <laughs> so when oh. we are the super student is how uh, we have created so that's how it got uh, created so uh, we have an attributes you exactly um, fitting into the framework and best part is you kind of continuously learn so that way um, i have certain i have a vision for you so I, <laughs> uh, this the implication is that uh, exams are over but yeah your work is not over there's a lot more to do yeah. so that's how uh, we're going to do and we'll keep sharing uh, further updates and probably if the audio quality is not proper i'm scared about your mom when she gonna have to quickly <laughs> <laughs> she sent you a mic <laughs> right no, we, we, the point is uh i like things happen in an organic way even this is the biggest uh, step which i had with general conversation i prefer a conversation without this now once you add a mic once you add x y z lighting and everything it, it becomes like a professional video again it's not a great excuse but in general i'm slowly getting used to remember the first 3 months we didn't do anything like yeah, yeah. so large small bits just for a fun say but after that i realized somebody asked me a particular question i had that conversation n number of times now i was like why should i repeat it and second thing if i do a regular conversation they don't understand now when you say that This is my question paper. This is how I got this source from this particular sheet. Now they start believing and trusting me that this actually works. Yeah. And the whole idea of see why we do what we do is very important. Now when I'm, when I'm making a video, I don't care about views. I never ask about subscription because I don't know. I don't know what to do with it because uh, there are a lot of people which thrive on YouTube. Mm-hmm. That's really good. But for me, if it's good, they watch it. If it's not, they won't. So I am not into that mode where I'm comfortable asking. But why do I make this video? Somebody watching it, mm-hmm. somebody yeah. uh, who may not be able to come down, may not be uh, able to take a decision to move on, still sitting at home watching this video. Something should change. They should mm-hmm. 
get it. And I am completely against that bullshit motivation which artificially says mm-hmm. everything is okay. Many things are not okay, they have to understand now, you are at zero. This video will take a step for that. This video is not going to help you clear. Mm-hmm. This video is definitely not going to help you clear for sure, yeah. entirely. But it will definitely start moving you from step one to two, mm-hmm. two to three, wherever you are one more step. Mm-hmm. So that is why we do what we do. That way, you are also focused on the core object instead of doing something, especially when I look at your day and revision submissions, exam and like submissions, you are doing it knowing that it is going to add mm-hmm. something into the exam. You are doing it with a sense of passion that works, gets reflected. Now these are the kind of people mm, would love to hire, like, because I have been a part of the hiring ecosystem, I understand why we hire. And uh, in the future, a lot of jobs will be lost, mm. few jobs will get paid ridiculously well. Like, it's further uh, demarcation. Mm. You're doing well, you're exceptionally rewarded. Mm. Mm. It's like peaks of capitalism. capitalism. Like, you're ridiculously rewarded, like you're exceptionally ridiculous. And then you're mediocre, it won't, it won't be here, it will mm. become zero. Yeah. So it, it, it is that, it is how it is turning out. Because here it will be replaced by AI. AI won't replace you, human intelligence, like that's the core of our human mm. master. So I think you are in the mode to get here and I wish, bless and pray of a very very lucrative and uh, fast forward journey ahead and yeah, we'll share further updates of what Mitra is going to do. For her we have already given her some work. She's supposed to help two people clear the CA in the group too, Dikshita and Pushup. So uh, she'll be working on it and I'll be updating her work in that perspective also where she is looking into the suit of a mentor. Okay. Yeah. So pleasure doing this video with you Mitra and we'll keep you posted. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs>